Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 Redstone 4 build to look at. This is um, build 17004 for Windows 10 Insiders, Windows Insiders on the fast ring with the skip head option. And notice it doesn't say Windows Insider build here, that's, but that is going to change to the next build apparently. Uh, and you can see the build straightened down there. Big jump in build numbers, we were at the 16 range and now up to the 17 range. And that's because Redstone 4 is going to be on the 17 range. Uh, number range going upwards and uh, the redstone 3 is on the 16 range going upwards okay well there's only a couple of changes in this but we do have a bit of a UI change they're working on this um, fluent design and fluent design means things are transparent with sort of um, highlights and things like that and here you can see this is the um, fluent design the um, Groove Music has it and some other apps have it, Calculator and others have that effect and you can see it there. So it's a subtle um, it's a subtle change but it does look nice, I, must, I, I think it's a nice way of showing it. It kind of hints to where the, the borders are, you can see that the, the borders either side of that Connect app are, are, are lit as well. So you're going to see more things like that, they've just done it on this bit at the moment but I think all of the start menu and all of Windows eventually will get that. So that's the main change. The rest really are minor issues, um, the fixed issues with uh, the start page in, in Edge. Sometimes it would not always open when you do um, when you open a new tab and start page. The fixed issue with the keyboard layout not applying correctly in, in the Edge. The fixed issue with PDFs. Um, and some other issues like that. You can read the full release notes on the digitallifestyle.com. They've fixed some inputs with the input bar not working correctly in Facebook, uh, Messenger app. This actually includes all the um, sort of the fixes that were in the recent Redstone 3 builds as well, which you can see those on our YouTube channel. And um, there's some other things, things like um, a new color wheel setting. There's a new color wheel setting there in high contrast mode. And there's a few other things, fix for Skyrim and other things. So those are the changes. Not massive at the moment, but you can start to see the direction that Windows is going to take within Redstone 4. And we're going to see more of these uh, fluent design in the future. So thanks for watching this one. You can check out more on our YouTube channel.